what's going on? Oh, what's going on is that we're about to do rehearsal. Let's bear mine on. Uh, bear mine on. Uh, bear my size. Uh, bear my size. Rob Chapman. Uh, Rob Chapman. It's Natasha Saliba. Uh, we're off to Bright on Electric. Greetings and welcome to Chappers TV. <laughs> hey guys, it's the Chappers and I'm back with Chappers TV. It's been a long time since I made Chappers TV. I've had so much to do uh, with all sorts of things going on. Uh, divorce, moving and relocating and studio and writing and rehearsing and all tons and tons and tons of things. Um, so, but I'm back with a bit of Chappers TV. Basically what I do is I collect things that happen to me over the month, film them mostly on an iPhone, and then to make things quick and easy so I can make content for you, I just whack them all into one video and call it Chappers TV. Uh, there's a bit of a history with this. It's mostly stupid things. <laughs> So thing number one, I recently received a big present, a big bag of uh, things from a friend of mine in America called Austin, and uh, to reciprocate, I sent him a guitar, just to say thank you for the, the gift he'd sent me. And uh, so he got really excited and made a video uh, of himself unboxing his ML1. Here's the video. Hey Rob, uh, I just got your package. I'm assuming it is uh, some kind of dress. So, uh, I'm gonna open this up. Alright. say so. I would say so. Right on, man. Right on. Please read this first. I'm not going to read it. I'm going to play it first. Oh, is the reverse neck too? Oh my god. Okay, well at least a little tuning. Now Austin doesn't like to play guitar on camera because he gets compared to his uncle, Jimi Hendrix, because Austin is Austin Hendrix of the Hendrix family. And so he gave, or lent the guitar to his mate Kalindo, who's a session player for artists like Janelle Monet. And Kalindo made a demonstration for him, which I thought was really cool. Check it out right now. Hey, I'm Kalindo Parker. This is the Chapman guitar. We're gonna check this bad boy out. <laughs>
have a fiance, her name is Natasha Sunny, but uh, I met her on tour. She's a fantastic singer uh, and an amazing pianist and just a fantastic person. And she was finishing her second degree at the ACM where she was studying vocal performance. And uh, being a good boyfriend, I played guitar for her. So here's a clip of me at Natasha's final performance playing a bit of Red Tower. Uh, and the guys from Door J also sessioned and backed her up. So check it out. <laughs> Noticed if you Google uh, Rob Chappers or Rob Chapman, there are lots and lots and lots of banter and chat about two main things: one my divorce and one my hair, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. Hilarious. Um, so it's funny. Ever since I had dreads, I have never in my life had so many positive comments about my hair from women and black people, and so many negative comments about my hair from white guys. It really is quite surprising because it's just a hairstyle. I mean, some people have short hair, some people have long hair, some people dread their hair, some people have curly hair. I have dreads and they're just, it's just fun. I like it. It's a fun thing to have. I'll tell you why I had my dreadlocks done. The first time I did a really cool tour on a proper tour bus with a crew, um, it was around, basically the tour was on my birthday. And you guys probably will know that Dave, my amazing bassist, is also a Gemini and has his birthday the day after mine. And so literally on tour, we were going to have this like joint birthday thing. And I thought, you know what, out of dreadlock solidarity and for a bit of a laugh, um, I just get my hair dreaded. You know, I had a friend called Sylvia Vilt, who is a very cool uh, YouTube artist, a good friend of mine, who made dreads, did it professionally for a bit. And she's good. And she said, well, I'll dread your hair. And uh, I thought, cool, I'll do it, and if I don't like it, I'll take it out, and if I do like it, I'll leave it in, and I like it. It's a cool hairstyle, I just enjoy having dreadlocks, and yeah, I'm receding a little bit at the front because I'm 39, that happens to most guys, if you have lots of testosterone, but you know what, I just don't really see what the fuss is about, if I have dreads, I have dreads. If you really don't like dreadlocks, don't watch my videos. And if you like dreadlocks, then give this a thumb up. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe subscribe. And freedom for people who want to have all kinds of hairstyles, irrespective of creed, colour, race and creed and colour. Because I think people should have personal choice when it comes to anything they do with their bodies, including tattoos and piercings and whatever the fuck you want to do with your vehicle that carries you around on this semi-spiritual plane. So yes, I will be cutting my dreads off at some point in the future when I choose, but it will not be, absolutely will not be, because of the mildly racist hate comments. Well, that's all for me, guys. It's a short one today. Uh, stay tuned for The Chappers Q&A Cavern, which is a regular episode for me, Roy. Answer your questions, whatever they may be. Uh, take it easy. Chappers, very much out. <laughs>